with a seizure disorder, you don't know when a seizure is going to happen. So you always have rescue medicine in your bag. You always have everything you need to keep your kids safe. I'm Karen Utley, and more importantly, I'm mom to Samantha Utley, uh, my daughter that is diagnosed with CDKL5 deficiency disorder. Samantha requires 24-7 care. She can't be without a person being aware of what's going on with her, um, watching her basically. The reason that I choose to participate in clinical trials and efforts like this is because when you have a situation where you're still trying to learn, someone has to be willing to put forth the effort to allow the data to be collected, to allow people to see into your lives and learn from you, learn from your loved one, your family member, or even yourself. One of the greatest strengths of a decentralized clinical trial and remote visits is that the clinicians get to see the patient in their own environment. But especially in our case, Samantha in her own environment shows so many more skills and abilities than she does when you take her into an office. It brings care to people that it's challenging to travel to care otherwise. And if you can work to reduce the burden on a family, even by reducing some of the visits and allowing them to be virtually, you have added to your abilities to reach people and have people to participate. It was life-changing to go from the visits every few weeks in person to the simplification of just going to the local place to get the blood drawn and then doing all the interview questions virtually. I hope that more people will begin to share their stories and that the, the trend to really listen to patient experiences and get that input and feedback so that a trial is well designed, I hope that continues.